and we back. We back. We back, y'all. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, people. I'm really talking to everybody. Okay. You see, it says raise take HQ. Somehow, my magnificent self forgot to charge my camera. So probably for the first half of this show, I'm gonna have to be the actual person here with the bad camera doing this. So, dice. What's going on? 360. What did it do? Hey, uh, 7012EJ, I had I had to. I literally had to. I was like, you know what? Damn, Coach, they'll be on later. And Frazier, they'll be on later. But, you know, in case y'all don't know, you know, there's a whole bunch of NCAA rules and regulations and shit like that to where uh, y'all know we try and keep everything safe, keep everybody out of trouble, all right? So, Frazier and uh, – uh, Coach Lamont will not be on this segment because they are NCAA coaches and you guys are still in high school. But I said, damn that. I ain't know no coach no well. I want to talk to these fellas. Fellas, what is going on? Please introduce yourself and tell me what leg is what. Uh, Tory Blaylock, first leg. Mm. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, Mike Meters, huh? Yeah. Yo, <laughs> Jordan, I thank you. I thank you out of them. Uh, my name's Jordan Parker. I'm third leg. There you go. There you go. All right. So Jordan Parker, by third leg. leg. Landon, what leg you run? Yeah, you ain't got no microphone. Yeah, my <laughs> yeah, I, was on, I was waiting on Landon to say something because he's second. Did he? Yeah, you ain't got no. You ain't got no microphone. <laughs> We'll wait for you though. We'll, we'll wait for you. Man. Look at you. Take your time. Figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. Why are you figuring it out? I gotta go turn my light on. Yeah, I was about to say we can't see you over there. You, you sitting in the dog like like you trying to hide from somebody. Yeah, my fault, man. <laughs> I say, I say he must have been getting braids retwisted or something because he he over there in the dog. You know, he just want to be heard. But I ain't never wrong with that. We don't see we don't see what we need to see. So you really could have stayed in the dog. Man, listen, y'all talk to me about this four by one. So my first question is the real question. Did y'all have any damn clue that y'all was on pace to do what y'all was about to do? No, nah, not at all. Walk me, walk me through that whole setup. And what I mean that setup, like when y'all first got out there, you know what I'm saying, doing your four by one warm up. Take take me through what was going through all y'all mind. Cause I need to know because I think I need to know what other people need to know so we can figure out just how the hell we can run that fast. Go ahead. Please explain what was going on. Go ahead, Jordan. You can start. Um, I mean, so uh, me and Landon were both uh, super sore because we did three events the day before. So uh, we had to do a lot of, like, recovery and stuff like that and um, get ready. Um, I mean, we were just really locked in. Uh, the plan was to break the national record uh, on that exact day. Uh, but we didn't know we were going to break it by as much as we did. So y'all already had a plan to break it. So what gave y'all the idea that y'all could break it, though? Like, I mean, I'm guessing y'all had did that in practice one time before or, or whatever. Give, give me that part. Like, how did y'all know, like, when we get here, we're going to break this record? Um, I mean, we opened up our season with 40.37 uh, without Tory. And uh, we already knew uh, whenever Tori was in practice that he was faster than our other previous first leg. And, um, I mean, we weren't going all out. We had bad exchanges, all that kind of stuff. So uh, we knew we were ready to go 39 for sure. And, uh, I mean, we weren't 100% certain that we were going to break the national record uh, this weekend. But we definitely, you know, knew that we could do it this season. Mm. Mm. So let me ask y'all this then. So that means y'all actually – Work on handoffs at practice is what you're telling me. Yeah. Yes, sir. How often? I want to say like every Wednesday and Thursday. So every Wednesday and Thursday, y'all working handoffs. Yeah. Now, are y'all working the same order or y'all changing the order up? No, nah, same order. So when did y'all know that this was going to be the order that y'all was going to stick with and this is everybody's leg. Nobody's moving around. If somebody get hurt, then we're just going to plug somebody else in instead of moving stuff around. When did y'all know that point? Like, this is the four by one. This is the four that we're going to have, and we're sticking with this four. I'd say pretty much after Toy came back off his uh, hamstring injury that he was dealing with football season. 
Mm. Mm. So, so hamstring injury. So how long, how long was you dealing with that? Cause, cause now I got uh, a lot of questions. A little minute. Um, coach, uh, coach Er, my track coach had me on, um, a lot of stuff for my hamstring, like a lot of strengthening, um, trying to get back into the groove and everything. Um, all the recovery and stuff to get me back ready. And then um, last meet, this meet, we just ran with my first meet back. So I feel pretty good. <laughs> Let me make sure I understand this. So your first week back, y'all first time actually doing together since you've been back. You ain't really fully healthy because you're coming off a hamstring injury and you just get back on the relay and y'all go 38. That's yes, ridiculous. <laughs> that's, 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 that's ridiculous. Let me ask y'all this then. Would y'all, would y'all pretty much say that it's more chemistry or more speed, which is the reason why y'all was able to go that fast? I, I don't know if y'all fully understand how fast y'all went. I don't know if y'all fully understand. Like, <laughs> it's it's some it's some professional Texas Relay USA blue teams that ain't went that fast. It's some it's some some Olympic teams from other countries that ain't went that fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I'm like I'm more interested in asking that question. Do y'all feel like it was because y'all had the speed or because y'all had the chemistry? Um. I mean, I think I speak for us all whenever we say speed because the chemistry wasn't necessarily 100% there yet. Um, I mean, because Tori just got back, so uh, we weren't really working handoffs with him until he was really fully healthy. Um, and I mean, like I said, uh, that was Tori's first time running the relay. Um, and then me, me uh, Jelani, and Landon, we only ran it three times. Um, so the chemistry part um, is definitely growing, and that's why I think that we can run even faster. But, I mean, just with um, our top end speed and the way that we were uh, putting the stick through the zone this weekend is why we ran so fast. So I'm having a tough time, but not really a tough time. It's just it's just amazingly weird to hear such young guys talk like this. So what you're saying is y'all done broke the record. And y'all not truly satisfied because you like, well, we broke it, but we can go even faster. How fast yeah. do y'all think y'all can go? Let me ask that question. I'm gonna ask some questions. How fast do y'all think y'all can go? Um, I mean, just with uh all the stuff that we've been seeing. So um if you've seen that there's a post on Instagram that basically said that we almost ran as fast as the uh the U twenty team a few years back, the one that had Matthew Bowling on anchor. Mm -hmm. And I mean just with how we ran and that being our first time being together, I am fully confident that in about a month and a half or just over a month, uh, whenever state gets here, we can definitely run right around like 38.5, 38.6 for sure. You know how fast 38.5 is? <laughs> <laughs> Not, yet. Not yet. Not yet. Them some territory, like – I done been on some teams with me and, and, and Tyson and Ira Williams, and, and we went 38-5. That's why I'm like, do y'all understand how fast y'all are actually moving? So let, let me ask you, give me – because before – I'm going to be honest with you, before the relay, I didn't really know much about y'all. So mm -hmm. give me y'all individual events. Um, I guess I'll go first. Um, So – this season, um, I mean, I, I run the four by one. I ran the eight hundred, the four hundred. Uh, I want to get in the two hundred. Uh, just the way our season's falling, I haven't been able to. But um, I run forty seven oh oh in the four hundred. Um, I, I ran the four by one um, a few times. Uh, I ran fifty three one in the eight hundred, and um, I ran twenty one five indoors in the two hundred. Okay, wait a minute. Let's stop right there for one second. Cause you know what I'm finna say. You know what I'm finna say. Everybody out there in race state land know what I'm finna say. You ain't even no damn sprinter. You ain't even no sprinter, sir. <laughs> you don't even what? Give me that again. Four, eight, what? You don't even. You ain't even. Oh my god. <laughs> kudos, kudos to you for having that. Golly, now that's impressive. That damn. Thank you. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Listen, dice. The boy said, look here. That's why I'm glad to hear. Let me show it. Yeah. The boy said 800. The boy said, I run the 800. <laughs> like, goodness gracious. So 38.5 with a legitimate 4.8. 
400, 800 guy. Okay, all right. No 60s, no, 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 no hundreds ever, no nothing. Um, I mean, my I mean, sophomore I mean, like year, recently, I'm though, like, like, like recently, like to be able to, you know, nah, I haven't, I haven't done any hundreds or anything like that recently. Okay, all right, well, run it down. Let me, let me hear what's next. Oh, shit. come on with it. Um, Jelani Watkins, uh, I do the 100 and the 200. My fast hundred this year was a 10.22, and I ran that at uh, the a and meet. And then my fast 220.7 was re uh, recently this weekend. I came off a strain hamstring. Time out. Time out. <laughs> I'm getting on down to the bottom of everybody else. Time out. So you just came off a hamstring injury too? Yes, sir. Okay. So you ain't healthy either? Mm, nah. Not really. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Your 1022, that came after the hamstring injury? No, nah, that, that was before. I can believe it. <laughs> That's picking them up, putting them down early, too. Like, early. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 22. Jesus. Jesus. And that's, and that's your fastest period? Like, your PRs or... Like just this year. Say it again. I said that's my PR. That's a PR. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Goodness gracious, alike. Boy, this is entertaining. Can um, you hear? Yeah, we can hear you now. Finally. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we can finally hear you, sir. Welcome to the show. Tell the people who you are. They already know who you are, but you can say it yourself now. <laughs> Senior at a Texas Cedar High School, Landon Fontenot. Then what leg you run? Uh, I ran second leg. Okay, so since we since you just pop back in, give me your um individual events. Uh, so my beginning the track stage for high school was a hundred and two hundred runner. Um, this is my second year running the four hundred. I ran forty seven oh eight, and yeah. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait. 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 So this year you work you running four hundreds. Yeah. So you so you're not running hundreds. No, no sir. Okay, so let me make sure I make this make sense, damn it, because this ain't making sense, all right? I can't wait till y'all get off the show. When I can bring the other coaches on the show, I'm going in. So you mean to tell me right now what I'm hearing? Mother, Mr. Toy, I'm coming to you next, all right? I'm coming to you next. Just be still, all right? What you mean to tell me is I, I'm looking at an 8-4 guy who thinking about running some 200s. That ain't no damn sprint. <laughs> then we got another guy over here, got half a leg. He just came off a hamstring injury. Ran 1022 and he only got one leg. Okay. Then we got another football player who came from the football field. Football season just ended, y'all, like last week. Okay. Came from the football field with one leg. Them together equals two good legs on one person body. All right. And then you got this guy who talking about he ran the 400. And these four people, <laughs> these four people just went 38 5. Good God Almighty. Mr. Torrey, come on, come on in. Uh, what's your event? <laughs> what you give me your PR? Uh, I only ran one meet. All I ran this year was a one. So that's that's all I ran so far. So let me ask you this then. Your actual first day of like putting on spikes and sprinting, when was that? Uh probably like two, two, three. Two weeks, something like that. Couple, some weeks. Not too long ago, though, for real, since I, like, really sprinted. Listen, y'all, I've been doing this track and field thing longer than y'all been breathing, all right? I am. I'm ancient. I made my my first U.S. team in 2003. I ran 10-1 in 2000, 24 years ago. I ain't never in my lifetime ever heard no shit like this before. <laughs> but I tell y'all, be honest, like, First of all, a high school team running 38 is the first wow, all right? That's the first wow. Now, when you hear it come out your mouth, like everything y'all saying, like like what people would be expecting to hear is, okay, yeah, I done clocked 9-9 nine, nine before Wendy. You know what I'm saying? Or, or somebody come on like, you know, I done ran a 4-1-40. Four, four, you know, it's like though, that is what in everybody's mind, I promise you, that's what the whole world is thinking. Like, oh, man, they, they got to be done ran this, got to be done ran that. You know, and then just to to literally hear y'all come out and say we're not even fresh. 
not only are we not pure sprinters, like with, with definition of pure sprinters, whatever you want to call that, now, because that's, that's definitely a question, what is a pure sprinter? So not only that, y'all came out here pretty much opening track meet, halfway banged up, I ain't really did no speed work, and went, okay. So, I mean, I'm going to have to jump on Jordan bandwagon. I can definitely see y'all going faster than 30. Let me ask y'all this. I'm going to ask y'all this. You, you can be honest. You can tell. You, just be honest. Do y'all think y'all have the capabilities of going 37.9? I like to ask the, the crazy questions. Do y'all think y'all got the capabilities of going 37.9? We here now. We might as well ask the damn question. I mean, we already here. Yeah, I think so. If we open up our steps and continue to uh, build on the speed that we have right now, I believe we can get there. Tell me how you feel. You ain't got but one hamstring. Y'all don't win nah, that fast, so. I'm with them. <laughs> we, um, we getting faster and we working hard, so we got to be dedicated, put our head down and work, um, keep uh, building the chemistry with this team and, and the sky's the limit for real. Landon, you on that 37 plus ride too? Yes, I am. Especially if we get to stick around at the right time and keep pushing through the zone, we can definitely get it. I know Joy on oh, shit. He he an 800, 400 meter runner. Like his brain don't work right. So why well, no, he he Jordan probably thinking 36 right now. He like, man, 37 ain't nothing for us. We probably can go 36. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. But on, on, on all seriousness, though, man, that's I love I love the confidence y'all got. I, I promise you I do. I love the confidence y'all got. And the sky really is the limit for y'all because I can literally just sense y'all chemistry just by talking to y'all, looking at y'all. It's like we just out here. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all really seem like y'all are having fun more than anything versus we running track because we had to do something in the springtime or, you know, we running track because, shit, I, you know, I just want to get faster for football or this or that. I mean, because in order for y'all to even be able to do what you did, that alone says we having fun with this shit. Like, we having fun. We, we literally having fun. And it seemed like y'all, all four of y'all get along. And I think that's the one thing that's working for y'all is that y'all y'all seem like y'all y'all energy and y'all energy is what's actually doing it. Like, like I don't sense no animosity. I don't sense no nothing. It's just like, no, we, we all on one page. We all on one accord. And that's how we getting it done. And 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 if he say thirty six, then I'm gonna say thirty six. So if he say thirty seven, I'm gonna say thirty seven. You know. And, and y'all speaking with confidence in in it at that. That's what's crazy. Um, where y'all at next? Uh, district. District. Yeah, we uh, wasn't gonna go to Texas Relays, but it was too close to our uh, district meet. Cause you know that what I want to see. That's all what I want. I was hoping you were gonna say. I swear to God, I was. I was hoping you were gonna say Texas Relays. I was gonna call in a favor. Like, look at them. Put them boys in high school boys. They ain't gonna embarrass them high school boys. Put them in the open on a test with all them Team USA's. Everybody, put them in lane four and let me see what happens. <laughs> cause, <laughs> cause, cause I, I'm, I'm standing on it right now. Like, man, I think the four of y'all right now. Because of what y'all just did and everything, and I'm not even trying to hype you up because time's a time. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what. In this sport, a time is a time. If you see it get done, it got done. So 38.5 means, like, yeah, y'all could be in the mix at a Texas Relay. Y'all could be in the mix at a Penn Relay, which is crazy to think about because y'all are in high school. You know what I'm saying? We're not talking about, like, no no, no LSU or no – no, y'all are in high school. Like, I, I just really need y'all to understand what y'all did when y'all hit that 385. I mean, y'all, that shit is moving. I'm telling you, moving, moving. So, before we get out of here, I do want to know so, who got who got decisions if you can talk about it? If not, you know, don't even worry about it. But who got decisions on well going to the next level? I think I saw a couple of y'all already uh, committed, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let me hear what what what, what are they at? Um, I'm going to TCU. Okay, on the street. Okay, you, you going to be an eight four guy, or you going to ask GB to put you on a relay? <laughs> um, that that's something I've been talking to uh, GB and Katie about. It's I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. So, 
Well, I can tell you like this here, GP ain't no ain't no dummy at all. I, he's very far from it. I very far from it. So if you can run a curve or a straightaway the way you doing it, GP ain't gonna give a damn if you run a sixteen hundred. He want to win. <laughs> so that's what it is. Jelani, where you headed to? I'm going to LSU. Ooh, Coach Schaefer, that's a dude right there. That's a dude down there. That's a dude. Okay, okay, okay. Toy, what you got? Committing on Friday. You committing on Friday? Yes, sir. Oh, so you doing so? So Friday, with everybody know. So Friday, when you drop it, I can put it on Twitter and all that, and I can spread it around. Yes, sir. See, did where he going, y'all? He he couldn't tell it on the show Monday, but I had to wait till Friday. So now y'all gonna know where he going. Yes, That's sir. dope. All right, so if you in, if you right now, if you already in them comments, you already watching this show like all week long, just go go watch the man Friday. Watch him get ready to do his release. Landon, where you at next? I'm going to Uni University of Iowa. Ooh, you been up there? Yes, sir, I have. No, 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 I mean, like, have you been up there? Like, spend nah, some time like up there? Not like okay. that. What, what, what was you born at, son? What was you born at? Louisiana, Lake Charles. Ooh, Lake Charles, Louisiana. Oh, okay. I've been down there. It's nice. It's hot. By you, you know, good weather. Yeah. Um, sir, I'm gonna explain something to you because I just live in Kansas City and that's right below Iowa, okay? Um, you ain't got enough jackets, okay? I'm just letting you know that now. All right, coming for you come from, you ain't got enough jackets. The jackets you're gonna need when you get to Iowa, you can't even buy them down here. It's like you gotta go to an Iowa store. The coldest I've ever been in life was at a track meet in Iowa. Kid you not. When mm -hmm. I it was, but I mean it was indoor, I went to the um, to the Iowa State um indoor meet. It was negative nine, and I was like, "Why? Just like why, God? Like literally, why? Like what? What? What did I do to deserve negative nine? I'm from Alabama. What did I do to deserve negative nine? So, son, I hope you're ready for that. It's gonna be freezing. Yes, sir. It's gonna be freezing. I, I want to, you know, that's uh, that's close to my uh, alma mater too. Yeah, that's where he went to school at. That was, I just thought, I just thought about that because that's who I used to raise when I went up there. When he when he come on the show, I mean, he watching the show right now. You know, he just can't be on the show, but yeah, that's. I know he's gonna like that. He's gonna be talking about it all year long. You know he's going to my school, right? Man, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fellas, fellas, I, I truly appreciate y'all for coming on. Um, like I say, as soon as I saw the video, I was like, okay, okay. You know what? They need to come on the show. <laughs> Literally, because what I wanted to make sure is that y'all received y'all flowers, at least from me and from everybody else. I mean, because I'm sure y'all to y'all. It's you really can't can't see it the way we see it because you're walking in it. And it turns out I've been there before because you walking in it, it's like and your confidence is like, man, we didn't do everything we're supposed to have done. Like, I don't even we can do better than that. You won't understand this feeling that all of us fans have for what y'all did until you get on down the down the road somewhere. Then it's gonna hit you like, man, look here. Watch this. I hate I don't want to put no bad mood boat on anybody, but go to one of your schools. And your football one don't run that fast. You're going to be like, man, I could have kept my damn high school team. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you what's going to happen. I tell you. So, hey, right, look here. I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan of all y'all. So, I'm I'm a, I'm, be honest, I'm a huge fan of Jordan, though. Jordan, my man, now. I'm telling the whole world. This dude is an 8 400 guy. <laughs> like, don't, so, when I talk to anybody track and field, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear no excuses. I don't want to hear no, I can't. I don't want to hear, I do the, no, you do the Jordan. All right. You do the damn Jordan. I want one, two, four, eight, relay all of it. That's what you do now. God. So, hey, proud of y'all, boys. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad y'all came on here. Hey, keep working, keep working, keep working, please, because. I want to see 37.9. I truly want to see. I truly want to see. The number I want to see y'all put up on the, on the board is between 37.98 and 38.01. That's why I see y'all range at. If y'all can give me any of that, y'all done made this old man happy. I can tell you that right now. Because that's why I got y'all at. Yes, I appreciate that. For hey, sure. man, I, I appreciate y'all. Hey, y'all fellas, go get some studying in. Uh, leave them girls alone. Uh, what else uncle would say? And uh, listen to your mama. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir, All right, fellas. I Peace appreciate out. having y'all on. We'll talk to y'all yes, later. Sir. All yes, right, sir. Thank you. No problem. All right, I'm gonna take a small commercial break. <laughs> so, the show now because, like you said, they can't be on here during the whole um everything. Um, so I'm. Um, yeah, I tried, David. I tried to, you know, yeah, I tried to be respectable, you know. So, you know, but we're gonna get the show show started here. Um, here next, I can tell you that much. So let me um 
get these other people on here. Y'all give me about two minutes to let Coach and everybody know that that, that part of the show is over with. And then we're going to get into all these regular topics that we got to talk about. We will be uh, 